That's good. <clears throat> All right, so hello, hello, everyone. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. So Tuesday, Tuesday, today. Only Tuesday, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, so let's see. Nice, I can see that, you know, most of you are very punctual today. <laughs> My teacher. You know, that, that's great. So, I'll be waiting, you'll be waiting for me. That, that's nice. Uh, so, in the class, I mean, in the house, I already have Alex, Luis, Brenda, Edgar, and then Carla, you know, just uh, joined the class. That's good. Uh, so, I, I think I mentioned Edgar. German over there. Hello, sir. Hilda. Mr. Mr. Miguel Franco, Karen, uh, Roberto, and then Xavi Rivas. Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, good night. Yeah, that gave me that gives me the chills, you know, in the goosebumps. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> yeah, nice. You know, I gotta get coffee, you know, to to make it, you know, through the night. Uh, okay. A couple of more. <laughs> a couple of more, right? <laughs> yeah, from the night because it's hard. <laughs> I know, you know. Uh, I've been, I've been, uh, work, I've been up since five thirty, and then checking a lot of papers and stuff. And yeah, here we are. Okay. Yeah, but that's the way it is. Let me, let me just. So what time do you normally go to to sleep? At eleven. At 11. At 11 yeah. Uh, yeah, I usually go to sleep at 11. You know, what about you? Like 10 30 right away? <laughs> like, yeah, I think so. Uh, around uh, 10 30. But sometimes when I have a lot of things to do, you know, I just go to sleep very late, like around 12 30. But it's like two or three times a week, you know. I know. So many yeah. Things, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's see. Um, let me just paste something over here. You know, the uh, objective for today is to cover the main difference between the simple past and the present perfect. Okay, so in a way, we're going to uh, review you know, when to use the simple past and the uh, present perfect. But as we know, it's already a tradition. It's a habit. We, we need to start with the word of the day or tonight's word, as we call it. Okay. Okay, and uh, let me just one second. This one, uh, this phrase, the one I'm about to show you, it's highly used among native speakers, okay? And I'm gonna ask your help. So you're gonna help me see what the translation in Spanish would be so we don't, so we don't forget, all right? So this is the point over here. So just one second and here we go. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just um Yeah, there we go. All right, so the word of the day or tonight's uh word is off the top of my head. Off the top of my head, meaning of the idiom of the top of my of my head. Uh, do not pay attention to this one, the one that says, or one's head, okay? That's not really necessary. So we're going to start with this explanation. Off the top, one's head, or, or off the top of my head, means to say something spontaneously without much thought or consideration as to whether one is correct, to give a quick guess or to estimate something. Okay, so that's off the top of my head. And let me ask you, can you think of, of a translation in Spanish, you know, of a phrase that we may have? Any ideas over there? Or, I mean, you may go, go to, the, to the web and, and just, you know, look for it. Let's try to do it. Yes? Algo que se le ocurre en el momento. 
Exactly, exactly, exactly. That could be an inspiration over there. Yes. And the other phrase, you know, to help us uh, make a, maybe a, a closer translation over there, we're not supposed to translate that, but sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, that helps. Yes? <clears throat> Anybody who can actually help me, you know, figure this out, okay? I found one, okay? I just did some research over there and then it is sin pararse mucho a pensar. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, any, any, do you have any other way to say this? Like, in, in Spanish, you know, instead of saying sin, sin pararse mucho a pensar? <clears throat> Yeah, somebody over here who, who would like to, uh, you know, help me with this. Or, I mean, we're good, you know, with the actual meaning of this. Yeah, we're. Yeah, we're, we're I think good. we're fine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just go here. Okay, so let's let's think of the, uh, of the usage, you know, how you're supposed to use this. So this idiom is often used to say, I don't know, as a, a saying, no, not off the top of my head, right? Okay, like, off the top of my head, right? So you may say, I don't know, you know, off the top of my head, you know, as far as I know, was out of, as far as I can remember, okay? So instead of saying, like, I'm not sure, or I don't know, you can say, you know, off the top of my head, the looking, well, sin más, sin más, uh, how do we say this in Spanish? Si mal, no recuerdo, right? Something like that, right? O oh, algo de ser, lo, lo que se me ocurre ahorita es, es esto. Ajá, ajá, exactly, okay. exactly, exactly. Something like that. But it's oh. off the top of my head. So when you're not sure about something, you can say, okay, uh, you know, off the top of my head, you know, I think we should do this. All right. Lo primero que se me viene a la cabeza. Exactly. Lo primero que se viene a la cabeza. Exactly. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you, sir. Okay. Nice. Okay, so examples of use. Do you know how much a bus token costs? As Jane, off the top of my head, I think it's uh, 1.55, said John. Or, or we also say like a grosso modo, right? We say that, right? <clears throat> yeah. So that that could also be another uh, translation to off the top of my head. If you want to run a successful business, you need to know yeah. your numbers off the top of your head, right? In el aire, right? That's what we say. Right. So just uh, just off the top of my head, I, I'd say there is a 75% chance of success. Sin, sin mayor calculo, verdad? So you see, I think this phrase, you know, can be useful for you or is going to be useful for you. All right? So yeah. off the top of my head. Now, that being said, Let's get down to business. So tonight we're supposed to study the present perfect versus simple past. And since uh, this is uh, going to be a review, let's see what time it is, 8, 8 of 7. I'm just going to spend, let's say, a couple of minutes on this topic. And then I'm going to ask you to uh, work in person. But for this one, I'm going to ask, you know, some helpers, you know, I would say some uh, TAs, okay, or, or uh, helpers to help me read in this one. I'm gonna start with you, Luis Bautista. What's up, sir? Help me read, you know, the, the heading, this one, you know, the one I'm pointing over here. You must always use the present perfect. Hi, teacher. Hello, sir. So help me read this, you know, what I'm pointing yeah. here. Yeah, Okay. Thanks. Present perfect versus simple past. You must always use the present perfect when the time of an action is not important or not specified. Mm -hmm. You must always use the simple past when the details about the time or place that an action occurred and are, are given or uh, I don't know the request. Uh -huh. Give it a try. Yeah. I mean, so you may say all oh, of the top of my head, I think it is requested, right? Because you don't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, requested, sir. Requested. requested. Okay, yeah, thank like, you. like, like asked. You know, requested. All right. So one main difference would be the on um, present perfect, the time is not specified. Okay, and something studied in the past and is still going on or might still going on in the in the present time. 
like I have been studying English or I have studied English uh, or I have been with you, you know, uh, I have been a teacher or I have been your teacher for three weeks, okay, for two weeks and some in a couple of days, okay? But I haven't specified specifically if it happened yesterday, last night, last week, last year, all right? So, they, that, you know, that is the key word for the present perfect. Simple past. So on the other hand, we have the simple past. In that, we need details about the time frame. okay? So we have this, this morning, last morning, last Friday night, et cetera, last year, and so on, okay? And let's compare this. So on the right of your screen, you have the present perfect, and then, on, on, I'm sorry, on the left, you have present perfect, and then on the right, the simple past. And I'm gonna choose a uh, lady to help us read this. Let's go with, uh, let's see, Hilda. Would you like to help us please with a present perfect and then the simple pass? Hi. Yeah, go ahead please. Uh, the present perfect is uh, I have life in lion. Mm -hmm. Uh, simple pass. I love it. I live mm -hmm. in lion in uh ah uh, <laughs> I don't remember numbers. Um, 19. Let me help you. All right. So 19. I have 19. 80. 89. That's correct. So uh, live, right? Live, you know, live in Lyon. Lyon, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a city in France, by the way. Okay, continue. Okay. Next one, please. They have. I have live. Live? Yeah. Live, live, right. Okay, so they live. have. No, number two, help us with number two, Hilda. They have. Oh, they have eating Thai food. Right, or simple pass. They ate Thai mm -hmm. food last night. That happened last night. I appreciate your help over here. Now let's listen to a gentleman, all, all, all right. German, help us in here, please, sir. Number three and four, please. Finish it, you know, just like Mortal Kombat. Okay. <laughs> They have eaten, uh, no, that, that's me. Uh, have you seen Othello? Mm -hmm. uh, where did you see Othello? All right, thank we you. We have been to Ireland. When did you go to Ireland? Thank you so much. So on, on the uh, left, you have the present perfect, you know, with actions that occur in the past or happened in the past, but the specific time in which these actions happen is not specified. I, I, I live in Lyon. Um, you know, I can uh, guess that I still live in Lyon, okay? So that's my best guess. But if I say I lived in Lyon in 1989, so I, I live in there maybe the whole year or just a couple of months, but I don't longer live there anymore. Number two, they have eaten Thai food. Like I have eaten pupusas once this week. <laughs> maybe you have eaten pupusas like two or three times this week, right? And you're going to keep on eating, right? because we're all pupusa uh, people, right? So, and that's the case in here. <laughs> remember, remember uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, he said he's a pupusa man himself, right? Yes, you know. All right. <laughs> so the next one is, have you eaten, have you seen Otello? Okay, you maybe you have not, or yes, you have, but it's not being specified. You know, the time frame it is still open. The next right. one, where did you see Otello? So a specific time, you know, in this case, it's asking you the place, you know, the place, the location, where? In, in the multi-cinemas or the other ones, for example. And last, we have, we, we, we've been to Ireland. Like I've been to the United States once, you know, I wanna go a second time, but not right now, you know, <laughs> coronavirus over there. Uh, mm -hmm. So when did you go to the United States specifically? You know, there's a specific time over there. Let's move forward. All right. Now, uh, I have here some uh, differences in the present perfect in the simple uh, past, but I'm not going to stop to review, you know, each one of them. All I can say is just the, the keywords. So present perfect, something is unfinished. Past simple, finished actions. Okay. And then you have the specific years. I've known uh, Alex for two yeah. weeks. Okay. I, I know you, everyone, for, for the last two weeks. Okay, and this is finished. 
And then we have the next, next example is uh, a finished action in someone's life. Like I, he, ha he has been to Mexico, for example. A finished action in someone's life. Okay, so, and that's the main difference. And, and then how would you identify the person perfect versus the simple past? With these keywords, you know, like yesterday, like last week, like last month, and then the, the person perfect, like this week, this month, today. If there's a yeah. possibility that the action, you know, has not finished, so that's the present perfect, the one that you're supposed to use. Okay, teacher. So, it, all right. Yes, sir. I have a question, sorry. Uh, it could be uh, um, a key a key that we use in the this auxiliary have always in the, the present perfect. We always use a have auxil aux auxiliary. Actually, yes, you're supposed to use have plus the verb that we call a past participle. In okay. Spanish, that would be, you know, ido, ado, just like that. You know, he comido, right. he vivido, he visto, exactly. That could be one so of the key words. Right? Th that's a key word, yes. The present perfect is comp compound by two words, okay, the, the auxiliary and the, the main verb in the past participle. But that's just grammar. And then mm -hmm. the simple past, you know that the verb needs to be in past. If you say, I know Julie for 10 years, uh, we're saying that yes. And we understand that you you knew Julie for 10 years, but uh, you need to use the, the simple past over there. Like I went to Mexico, it's done. You know, I went to Mexico. You know, I can, I wanna come back, but it happened in the past. All right, All right. All right. that's it. Yeah, but thanks for bringing that up. That's, that's actually important. All right, now let's try to uh, practice this. Everyone, right now is the time for you to practice a conversation, and this is the first conversation that I have. As usually, I'm gonna send to you the the information, the material to your um, chat, okay? Okay. And the personal chat, and then I'll be also sending this to your uh, meeting chat. Let's see. Let me just one second in here. Question so far about person perfect and simple past, or you, you gotta wait, you know, to practice. This is a review, I think, right? Yes. Am I correct? Thank you. So the first conversation has to do with time, all right, with time, because that was my focus right now. Second time you're gonna practice this uh, conversation will be based on experiences, because the, the present perfect is used based on experiences. Now, what you're supposed to do okay, is do not take a look at the uh, script over there, please. So do not look at the script. Instead of doing that, you know, try to look at the, uh, the quiz part. I guess, you know, most of you or all of you are familiar with this, am I correct? You know, with, with how this uh, information works, which we always practice, yes? All right, so as you can see, this material is divided in, in, in three parts. It has a script, which is the actual conversation. It has the grammar, which is the explanation we just review, And then the quiz itself, which uh, tests your understanding of the uh, conversation itself. So right now, what I want you to do is to play this conversation, which I think lasts like a minute. It's actually divided into four short conversations. Okay? Oh. Yes, sir. Sorry, I, I got one different. Uh, it's a different, different one. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I got confused on this one. But uh, let me just go ahead and get the correct one. But let's just start with this one. The thing is that we're going to practice, we're going to practice, uh, okay, that one. you know, yeah, that one too. Um, and, you know, my original plan was to practice the one you just saw. But okay. uh, I think it's better if we practice the other one. But give me just, let's see, 10 seconds, you know, while I correct this. Yeah, you're right. Let me just one second. Uh, here we go. Sorry about that. And um, hold on. All right, so this one has to do with the time, okay? And uh, all right. Okay, so I said that you're not supposed to, to look at the script, but this is the one you gotta look for. Right now, just get familiar with this, but do not pay uh, too, uh, too much attention to it, okay? 
let me just share the screen over there. Okay, let me just make that correction. You know, I, I, I messed it up, you know, somehow on this one. Uh, let me get the other one because, I mean, the quiz for this one, the quiz is great. But everyone, you know the screen I'm talking about. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not a but, problem. Uh, that the, script, the, the conversation just sent us. Uh, yeah, you're correct. Yeah. Correct, but you know what? I, what I'm saying is, is that, of course, you you, you do have access to to these uh, script them everything, right? But it would be better if you complete the quiz first, okay? Without without, 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 without seeing the script because this is supposed mm -hmm. to to be a uh, oh, okay, you know, a listening activity. So I think this is the correct one, right? This one. Yes, it is. All right, so listen to the conversation first, try to take the quiz, and then I'm going to split you into pairs so you can practice the conversation. Okay. Do we have a, 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 a common understanding in here? Yes, sir. All right, so let's go ahead. Yes. Please. Thank you, so you got a minute, okay, please. All right, so let me go ahead and split you into the breaker room so you can go ahead and practice the conversation, the one that has to do with the time, okay? But I don't know if I got the, the wrong um, um, link, but the, the conversation has nothing to do with the quiz, with the test, you know? All right, so... Uh... Oh. I mean, I mean, in the end, it doesn't really matter. Let me let me send okay. to you, let me send to you the next one over there, okay. because right now this, yeah, the one it's about present perfect time, and then let's take a look at this. Let's see which one I sent to you. Yeah, I sent to you the one that the, if you scroll up, you know, into the page I shared with you, you you see the title over there. It says person perfect, and then there's a slash. It says time. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, and then it says a quiz. And when was the last time they saw each other? Yeah. And then there's see is there, is there something related to this? Maybe the, you know their page is wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> that might be the case over here. Yes, I see your point in there. All right. So uh, 
Let me take a look at the. We can uh, practice it anyway. Yeah, anyway, and then it says in conversation, what country has she visited? And then let's see if it's this one about time. Yeah, I think uh, the uh, quiz is messed up in here, but at least you have a chance to practice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see your <laughs> point over there. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, let me send, uh, let me split you into, uh, into pairs. Okay. So hold on. All right, there you go. Uh, Karen is with Luis. Carla is with uh, Xavi Rivas. Alex with uh, German. Jacqueline with Roberto. Hilda with Miguel. And then Edgar with Stephanie. So try to practice the first conversation, the one that has to do with, with the time. And try to practice twice, please. All right, so Stephanie, um, is your is your okay? Nice, you join in there. Nice. Okay, conversation two. Okay. Have you sent the report? No, I haven't. Why haven't you finished? I haven't had time to check the spelling. Have you finished reading it? Yes, I have almost done. Okay, conversation three. <laughs> How long have you known Joe? I've known, known him since high school. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, we have been best friends for a while. Have you seen him just recently? No, I haven't seen him for some time. Okay, the last conversation. Okay. Nice sweater. I haven't seen it before. Oh, this this old thing. I've had it forever. How come you haven't worn it very much? Well, it has been too hot to gotten here yet uh, has anyone tried the problem I don't think any anyone has maybe has uh, other clip or maybe he's forgotten there is a meeting uh, have you sent that the report no I haven't why haven't you finished I haven't had time to check it, the spelling have you finished it Finish don't writing. be lazy, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other was I have to fire you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In uh, these days, you know, it's it's a luxury, you know, it's a luxury, yeah. you know, to, to, to do that. <laughs> yeah, probably have to let, over. let him go. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let you go, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a very polite way to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> fire you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Have, have you I, finished writing it? Yes, I have almost done. Okay. How long have you known Joe? I have known him since high school. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, we have been best friends for a while. Hmm, besties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him for some time. Well, your best friend and you haven't seen him. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's contradictory, strange. right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you took coronavirus, right? Grand suffering, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your way yeah. out. <laughs> Probably okay. she took it about, about one week, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, you got it, you got it. Nice. <laughs>
Yeah, we have been best friends for a while. How you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him for some time. Okay, number four. Nice sweater. All right, nice. Okay, so your classmates still have a couple of seconds before they join the main station. So we gotta wait, let's say like 30 seconds. But in the meantime, I'm going okay. to ask, let's see. Uh, so I have two ladies in here. So Carla, would you like to help us play the part of the, one part of the conversation, please? Yes. Thank you. And let's see, I'm gonna ask uh, one of these gentlemen. Uh, so who would like to help? All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Thanks. So let me just go ahead and share the screen with you. Uh, you know, we got to move fast. So it's right. been 30 minutes since, since we started the class. So we got to do our best to advance with this material. Let me just get the, um, the conversation in the screen so everybody can see what you guys are practicing. Okay. So one moment. And two, three, and there we go. All right, so lights, camera, action, please. Go ahead. Okay. Has Bo arrived yet? No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't gotten here, here yet. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has. Maybe he has overslept. Yeah. <laughs> hangover, right? Or maybe right. he's forgotten there's a meeting. So we continue conversation too? Yeah, continue, please. And then okay. we're going to choose, you know, two more volunteers, you know, volunteers okay. three or number four. Go ahead, please. Have you sent okay. the report? No, I haven't. Why haven't you finished? I haven't had time to check the spelling. Have you finished writing? Yes, I have. Almost done. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your participation in here. So let's choose okay. another, uh, you know, pair of students. I would say couple, and then let's go with uh, Karen. Karen, help us, please, uh, Mrs. Galdames. And then we go with. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Luis. Luis, help us, please. Would you like to help us, sir? You know, I was wondering if you would like to help us. You know, in the red questions over here. Luis, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. So conversation, yes. yeah. All right, so conversation three and then okay. conversation four. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, how long have you known Joe? I've known him since high school. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, we have been best friends for a while. Have you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him for some time. All right. So conversation four, please continue with in, in, in cutting. Okay. Nice weather. I haven't seen it before. Oh, this old thing. I can't have it forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How come you haven't worn it very much? Well, it has been too hot to wear it. Yeah, I can see that. So recently, right? Now let's move forward over here. Um, this is, you know, somehow a quiz. It has in total 20, uh, I would say exercises or items, but you don't have to complete them all. You know, right now, what I'm gonna ask you is to complete this individually, but I'm gonna split you into pairs, but you're supposed to work individually, and then if you need help from your classmates, you can ask for help, okay? But before I split you into the breaker rooms, let me send the material before, okay? Let me just one okay. second. Just keep in mind that the uh, uh, material has, uh, once you enter over there, 20 questions or 20, uh, 20 items, 
but you don't have to complete them all. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna ask you to do at least 10. You have the rest, which you can do during the week, but that's all optional, okay? It's not mandatory. So bear with me just one moment here. Uh, let me just see which examples are the ones I have. This is last night, I, uh, my kids and kids and everything. And just one moment here. Okay. I found. Now, uh, if you don't know some of vocabulary words, it means that the English that these uh, conversations, or I would say these sentences use, is British English. Okay, so and that that might be the case. Like okay. if you if if you noticed if you noticed uh, already, uh, they said uh, on the first one, I had to call my flatmate to let me in. You know, it's not your, your roommate because in the United Kingdom or right now is 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 England, uh, so they call an apartment a flat, okay? So right. a flat. So, but here, you know, overseas, so we we say uh, a roommate. So, and that's why. And right below, you're gonna maybe come across some of these words, but it's better if you understand them, you know, by context. Did you get that information? Did you get the message I sent to you? Yes, yes, sir. All right, thank you. So let me also post it over here. And there you go. Um, so I'm going to split you again. But first of all, complete the exercise individually, okay? And check if it's correct or not. But after you, you, you've you done, you know, that from one to 10, okay? And then you can, you can share with your classmates. You go one, two, three, four, and so on, okay? So just one sec. So how many participants do we have? We got 12. And there we go. All right, so go ahead. The uh, rooms are opened. Jacqueline and Mr. Franco, Carla and Xavi Rivas, uh, Edgar and Roberto, Karen and Luis, Stephanie and Hilda, and then last but not least, Alex and German. Okay. Again, right? <laughs> All right, so try to join the break rooms, please. Okay, we are going to the first one. Okay. For me, it's last time I lost my keys. I had to call my yeah. flatmate to let me in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I lost. Yeah. Okay. What about the number the second, two? The second one I mean is I have lost. Yes. My keys. Can you yeah. help me look for them? That's right. You know what's what's the context over here? It means that you 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 are still looking for your keys, okay? Because you you haven't found them yet. That's what I would yeah. think. Okay. Nice. Number three. Okay. okay. Uh, for number three, it's I have visited Paris two yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah, for me too. Correct. The time frame is not specified, so it's not specific. So yes, you use. Uh, now, you, uh, I would say when you speak, okay, it's better to use contractions like I visited, you know, uh, and I've lost my keys. That sounds better. But when okay. you write, yes, you can decide to, to write a long or not contracted a sentence or you, you may contract it. Okay, so okay. it's up. Hi. Yes, you, you go ahead and say, if you want to be more fluent, you go, I lost my keys. Can you, can you help me look for them? Or I lost my, you know, my keys yesterday. So, so, just uh, you know, some advice I can give you. By the way. Okay. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we got for them. I have some to put the noun. Is the no new? No, I have no. Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry, my confused. 
All right, so what number are you working on right now, gentlemen? Uh, we work, we have working six now. Number six, okay, about Julie for three years. So let me ask you, simple pass or, or present perfect? Present perfect. Yes, yeah, present perfect. Yeah, one piece of advice I can give you is, of course I know that you, you know how to identify the simple past and the present perfect. Okay, I know that already. But when you speak, use the contractions in there. So you can say, I, I, I've known Julie for three years and we still meet once a month. So you don't really have to say, you know, I have known Julie for three years. But just, okay, so make sure, Robert, make sure, you know, to use the verb in past participle. I, I've known, I've no. known Julie. So in that way, people okay. know that, you know, you're, you're using that specific tense, okay? But they will know, right? Because if you say, I knew Julie, you can tell the difference, right? Uh, for example, teacher, when, when, is the, when we're talking about the true person, how that, you pronounce that? Ah, okay. Uh, contraction or what? Or, or just the verb, none? Uh, contraction. Okay, you got to use has. So in that case, you, you got to say cheese, like cheese, you know, cheese, cheese, none. Uh, I would say Roberto. If I say that, that you know, the complete name, I got to say Roberto has none. Julie for three years, you know, has, has, you know, has none. But if, if I say he, you know, he's none, I can say he's known Julie for three years. Okay. okay. He's, Thank you. Yeah, some people no. get confused because they think that is the is the verb be, you know, is or, or are, but that's not the case. Okay. Uh, yes, but the difference is in the verb now. Correct, correct. That's the key, you know, that's the key. You you got it. Nice. I mean you may continue. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> Okay, number seven. I play. Lo sed. Ajá. L O S E D. Ah, no, no es ese. Qué bárbaro. Hello, hello, hello. May I help you? Hello, please. Yeah, what number are you are you uh, right now? Um, And the number two. Number, Number two. two. All right. So lose my keys. Can you help me look for them? Okay. To start with, uh, do you think uh, that this is a simple present or, or past simple or simple past? Simple. Uh, simple past. Are you are you sure about that? Yes. Okay. Imagine this. I need to. Uh, I need to go to the supermarket. Just imagine this. I need to go to the supermarket right now. I will say super selectos or the other. But I'm gonna I'm gonna use my car, you know. So in that way I need my, my keys. And th they are lost, you know, the keys are lost. So I have a problem. So can you help me look for them? I'm gonna ask you, do you think I already found the keys or not? No, no, because I'm, I'm still looking for them, right? So I'm still looking for my keys. And if I don't find them, you know, my wife is going to kill me and then I'm not going to go <laughs> to the supermarket. So my question is, is number two specific? Is the time specific or not over there? Uh, yes. Is it's like a yesterday or... Oh, no, no, no. No, it's just the number one. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. in, it's, it's now. Correct. The, the action has not finished because I haven't found the keys yet. I'm still looking for them. Okay. Like, like right now, like right now, I'm going to ask you, Hilda, have you uh, had or have you eaten dinner already? Mm. I I I am not. <laughs> you may say you may say no. I, just just no, right? That's okay. You may say no. Yeah, let's just start with that. You may say no, no, teacher. So that means that that possible the door, you know, the door it's still open because you're going to have dinner. So you may say no, teacher, I haven't. Okay. Or if you already have pupusas for dinner, you may say yes, 
Yes, I did. You know, I, I, I ate uh, four pupusas, you may say. So that's the past. But since the action has not been completed, is the present perfect the one you're supposed to use in there? Because you're still looking for the keys on number two. Perdí la llave, he perdido la llave. The things that in, in, in English uh, we say that, but in Spanish we say, perdí la llave. Y no la con todavía, right? Yeah? <laughs> That's what we say, right? <laughs> yeah, it sounds very realistic, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that has, you know, that's happened to me a couple of times. <laughs> Not the cards, you know. Uh, okay, but keep on practicing, please. Um, or are you, uh, I mean, did you finish already? Not. Oh. Okay, let's come back to the main session and let's see if, you know, all together we can complete uh, the quiz, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, nice, not a problem. All right, so we're gonna wait a couple of seconds, for, you know, uh, for the uh, rest of, of uh, participants to join this. But in the meantime, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you some uh, clues, you know, some hints on this one. Okay. You know, let's go 50 and 50. Let's identify the ones that make reference to the past. Of course, you gotta tell me. Like, for example, do you see any clue that tells you that this is the past? Just tell me yes or no, please. And, and so we can do this quickly. Like the first one, well, yes, right. Okay, let me use the uh, the pointer in here. You know, just to to uh, make this a little bit more entertaining. Let me just one second. Here we go. And actually, I'm going to choose something else in here the uh the pen in here so what happened in here <laughs> nice <laughs> all right there we go okay. all right so we have this one right yes, yes, yes. okay number two do you see do you see something related to the past i mean specifically a uh, time expression on number two yes or not no no okay let's skip that one and uh what about number three does it say something you know that actually was done and completed in the past like yesterday last night this morning number three no it says it says only the you know how many times you have done that and that's another hint for the present perfect if it tells you you know how many times or the frequency of, of an action that's the the present perfect okay i mean i'm not supposed to you know to give this out <laughs> give this away but you know that's the one what about number four yeah, it said last, last year. year. Right? Yeah. yeah, we have last year, right? Okay, number five. I, blah, 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 my grandmother. And then let's see over here. You don't have to read the complete statement, you know, to, to guess. Yes or no? Let's, let's do this a uh, little yes, bit. Yes, uh, I was eight. Uh, number five? Yes. They, uh, I was, when I was eight. And she died when I was, yeah, you're right. You're right. Correct, correct. But on this and this and this scenario, mm -hmm. uh, I have known my great grandmother for a few years, and she, yeah, it's simple past, correct? Because you say when I was eight, okay? So when I was eight, okay. Next one, number six. I Julie for three years. We still meet once a month. Okay, so there's no past over there. The next one, number seven. Hockey since I was a child, I'm pretty good. Uh, is, is the action is the action finished on this one, or not? No. Now let me give you no, another it. another hint. If you see if you see the words, sin, you know if you see the words sin, and poor. Most of the time, I, I'm not going to say a hundred percent of the time. You're talking about. Present perfect. 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 Okay. Like you can tell me, I have studied, you know, in, in English corporativo for a year and a half, you may say. Okay. 
And so number eight, play hockey at a school, but she didn't like it. Okay, she had ex an experience over there and it was no good. So I would say pass. it's a simple pass because it's yeah. done, you know, I, I, I don't go to school, you know, no more. Yeah. Number nine, sorry, I missed the bus, I'm going to be late. <laughs> of course, that's the pass, right? <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. and number 10, I missed the bus and then I yeah. you miss missed also. the airplane as well. <laughs> airplane as well. Yes, okay, it's a sequence. I think it's the pass, right? Yeah. So that being said, let's see, I'm going to ask, uh, let's see, uh, Xavi, Mr. Javier Rivas, help us uh, very quickly. Let's see, what time is it right now, everyone? 8.50. No, we don't have the time. Okay, so we don't have the time, you know. Um, so why don't you help us, uh, Herman, just very quickly uh, to help us, you know, with, with the answer in there. Uh, you don't have to read the whole uh, okay. Sentence. I just help okay. us, please. Okay. The first one last night I lost. Number okay. two, I have lost mm -hmm. my keys. I have visited uh, Paris two times. For last year, I visited uh, Paris. Five, I knew my grand grandmother. Six, I have known Julie for two years. Mm -hmm. Seven, I have played hockey. Mm -hmm. uh, eight, uh, she played hockey. Correct. Mike, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I have missed the bus. <laughs> yeah, All right. yeah, okay, and then I missed the bus, and then I missed the airplane as well. Correct. Yeah, I appreciate your help over there. Just remember, when you use visit, you gotta say visited, you know, or visit. Visited. Visit. Yes, correct. Correct. Like we say, need, I need it. You know, I, I visit, okay. visited. Okay, and so on, just like that. Now, next, next activity is going to be a second, convers I mean, a, a second a conversation practice, which is divided into small conversations, okay? And this time, yes, this one will talk about experiences, okay? And hopefully, <laughs> German and everybody else, the quiz will be okay, but I don't promise anything. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not up to me, you know? It's not up to me, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. And so second a conversation is on the way. And there we go. Has okay. been posted, has, you know, has been shared with you right now. You know, yeah. let me tell you something, you know, based on my personal experience, use the present perfect, please. We use, I would say, every single day to speak the present perfect. You know, between the past and the simple present, I would say we, we use both. Uh, tenses almost all the time, okay? So I think it's important and essential that you learn, you know, how to use, but, you know, with practice. And that's what we're supposed to do in this class. So I'm going to split you again into purse. Um, and hopefully this time, you know, you're going to have new classmates, <laughs> new partners. All right, uh, let me just one second. Hold on. So one second, please. I'm doing, you know, making some changes over here. And uh, how many participants are, are you? Are you 11? Okay. All right, so Karen is with Luis. Uh, German is with Jacqueline. Elgar is with Hilda. Stephanie with Roberto. Alex with uh, Miguel Franco. And then Xavi is alone, but I'm going to practice with you, sir. Okay. So go ahead, please, and join the breaker rooms. I think this is going to be the last activity of the night. So we almost made it. Hello, sir. Hello. All right, so let, let's go ahead and practice, please. Um, so are, did you listen already to the conversation or are you still listening to it? No, I did. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and practice. So uh, just for the sake of, of this conversation, I'm going to be the woman. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then you're, you're going to be the man. So you start, please. Go ahead. Have you ever been to Asia? Uh, yes, I have uh, many times. Asia, you know, Asia. That's how we say, it. you know, Asia. Yes, continue, please. Where have you been? I've been to Japan, Korea, and China. Have you been to Indonesia? Indonesia, Indonesia would be. No, I haven't been there yet. Now I'm going to switch you over here. Okay, conversation two, I'll be the man, you'll be the woman. So here we go. Have you ever eaten Japanese food? I have. I have eaten lots of Japanese food. What foods have you eaten? I've eaten sushi, ramen, and yakisoba. Have you tried naru? No, I haven't, but I've, if here this discussion. Yeah, I have no idea what NATO is, right? So, <laughs> okay, so conversation three, you're going to be the guide again, and I'll be the woman, okay? Okay. Have you seen the new Star movie? War movie? Yes, I have seen them all. Have you seen all the Spider-Man movies? No, I haven't. Have you? Yes, I have seen them. All of the last one. Oh, I've seen that one. It's good. You know, you should watch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next one, I'll be the man, you'll be the woman. So have you tried the new cafe? I haven't. I haven't had time. Have you? I have. I, it's really nice, but I've only been there once. I hear, I hear it's really nice. It is. Uh, they've uh, uh, a nice job, you know. In this case, the last part is not the person perfect, just have contracted. You know, they have a nice job. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's go back to the main station because I think this class is about to finish and let's see, you know, we can take it from there. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank so you. just one second over here. Waiting night. It is a, a nice job. Um, change the the paper. You yes. a man, man. and a, a woman. <laughs> let, let, let's change the roles. Okay. You know, change the roles. You know, that's that's how you say. It. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No change problem. The roles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice. Uh, Ready? Yes. Have you ever been to Asia? To Asia, right? Asia. Yes, I Asia. Have Asia. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes, I have many times. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> where, no problem. where have you? Okay. All right. So I guess, uh, gentlemen, you're done practicing the conversation. Am I correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, sir. Yes, we practice. All right. So uh, let me just uh, emphasize this, you know, uh, this information with you. Okay. So in this, in this uh, place, I'm not supposed to say the name, you know, because it's. Otherwise, you know, they're going to take a, the, the channel down. Okay. But you can have the opportunity or you have the opportunity to complete from uh, 11 after 10. You have, you know, from, from uh, 11 until 20. You may okay. not do it today. If we have the time, we can start working tomorrow on this. But I don't really like, you know, uh, spending time on these grammar exercises. I think it's better if you actually do it on your own, you know, yes. during the day. Yes, it's better. So if you uh, want to go ahead and do this tomorrow on your own during the day and you want me to just double check it, I can do it. But keep in mind that also the website on this part, you know, the one I'm pointing, also mm -hmm. gives you the responses. But so try to be honest <laughs> and don't look at the responses before. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got it. So, yes. There are many exercises on the same place. You just got to go back and look at uh, worksheet number one, two, three, four, etc. Okay. 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 Nice. Uh, we got to go back to the main station because this class is pretty much over. Okay. All right. See nice. you then. All right. Hola. Será que ya no van a regresar? Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah, you know, they're, you know, they're supposed to be here. <laughs> okay. 
you know, actually the class, uh, the class is over. Um, yeah. Yeah. But just one quick announcement. Yeah. I was talking to some of, of you, you know, some of your peers. And, you know, this is the homework because I know you have a lot of things to do during, during the day. But if you want to take some, I don't know, 15 or 30 minutes to complete the rest of exercises on, on the same uh, page I shared with you, you have from 11, I think, until 20 to think and practice the simple press, I'm sorry, the simple pass versus the present perfect. But you can do that tomorrow. Sure. One more time, one more thing. The, the, the material allows you, you know, to, to check your responses on the, on the hand, on the, I'm sorry, on the right-hand corner of your screen just like this. So you may go ahead and double check if we are wrong or not. I still have a doubt on numbers on number five, you know, when the great grandmother passed away. I'm going to double check this one. Okay. So right. tomorrow I'm going to ask you, so how did you do uh, on the exams and everything? But I got to go because, you know, my students are waiting for me. Okay. okay. Right. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye. Take care, please.